Hey guys, thanks everybody for being here. It was a beautiful day. Could not have asked for, uh, for, for better weather. And I just want to tell you guys how much uh, Patty and I appreciate all of you being here. And you know, as I, I, I have been to a lot of weddings in my life, many of them my own. And uh, I, I'll be honest with you, I have never seen, uh, when I saw her this afternoon, I was absolutely stunned. And um, I'm not an emotional guy, but I was just moved to tears. And I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, she is, uh, uh, Serena has made my life so much more than, uh, than it, it could have been. And, uh, you know, I posted something earlier on Facebook that, that got a lot of response. And, uh, you know, if, if you have the opportunity to ask for the attributes in a son, kindness, strength, strength of character, uh, compassion, I have all of those things in Will Roming. I, uh, you, you know, we didn't lose a daughter, we gained a son. And I, I wanted to, thank you. And uh, I, I think what is, you know, Will is in, in the process for being hired at the Daytona Beach Police Department. So he is, uh, he's carrying on the family business, which, uh, which I'm, I'm very happy about. Yeah, because mine's no good anymore, so please feel free. If you get a ticket, you can use Will at this point. But, uh, but folks, uh, honestly, I want to thank you for just a wonderful day. I want to thank Will's family uh, for being here and for joining this crazy family of ours. And um, you guys, uh, this is more a celebration of uh, joining together. And uh, we, are, uh, we are so proud and we are so happy to have you. Um, as members of our family. So, um, folks, please put it up. I'd like to, uh, I don't have a cocktail, but I'll uh, grab a glass of water. <laughs> please raise a glass to Mr. and Mrs. Will Roming. And thank you all again for being here. My name is Mickey. I've known Serena since we were two years old. Um, we used to tell people that we were actually born in the same hospital right next to each other in different rooms. But turns out she was born in February and I was born in December, so that didn't work out very long. Um, she's truly one of the best friends that anyone can ever have. And I just wish them all the best. Um, they are so wonderful together. Um, and just, uh, I love them very much. And she will always be my sister and I will always be there for her whenever she needs me. Hi Serena and Will, this is Katie. I just wanted to congratulate you both. Will, you have met the most phenomenal woman and are so lucky to be her husband. Serena, I have grown up with you since we were babies and I can't believe that this day has come and that you're finally getting married to the man of your dreams. I wish you both the best of luck and happiness, good health, and hopefully some wealth. I love you both.
Listen, I just want to remind you guys today that two better than one. You know that, right? You've seen that in your life together so far, right? When one falls, you've got somebody to pick you up. The difference is you're doing it together as husband and wife. And the reality is you're, you're smart people. You know how difficult it is. You recognize the numbers of divorces that happen. So it takes everything that you've got. The Bible says to you, Will, love your wife as Jesus loved the church and give yourself up for her. That's what you're commanded to do. As a man of God who loves the Lord, you're to love her the way Jesus loves you. I've known Serena since I was two years old. We used to tell people <laughs> that we were born in the rooms right next to each other. Not knowing, well knowing, but not realizing that she was born in February and I was born in December. So it didn't make a whole lot of sense. But <laughs> we've always been the best of friends. And I just think it's amazing what these two have. The faithfulness, the love of God in this relationship, and now marriage. Um, I just know that you're going to be so happy. And I want you to know that I will always, always be there for you. And well, you better take care of that girl, let me tell you. <laughs> and I know you will. You are an amazing man, and I give you props for that all the way. I love you both very much, and just know, love one another. And when you argue or anything like that, just think to yourselves, is it worth it? Is it, is it worth the argument? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So just, just know that Love is wonderful and God is always with you both. I love you. When the rain is blowing in your face, no one there to dry your tears. I could hold you for a million years. All right, so nine years ago, Will was the best man at my wedding and uh, I had to pay him a certain fee to not tell the truth. So today is double. But I'm very, I'm very glad that you guys let me be a part of your lives as well as part of your ceremony uh, today. Um, me and Will go way back. We've been friends for almost 24 years or so. He's been like a brother to me, you know. Um, I never met somebody as, as caring, understanding, and compassionate, and, and willing to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do each and every day. And that's something that I took from him and, and it's helped me get through my life, career, and my marriage also. Uh, trying to be as good of a, of a man as Will has. Um, you guys don't know that, that through thick and thin, he's, he's, he's always been there for me. He's been like the big brother that have fight any fight for me because I had a big mouth. <laughs> and, it, and he had the muscles. So that's pretty much how it went down. So, <laughs> but all in all, I'm proud, I'm, I'm happy for you. Serena, you're beautiful. Finally give, you know, Facebook something to take the attention off Will's ugly mug. <laughs> but best wishes, I love you both, and uh, enjoy the rest of your lives. I see it clear just like a picture on the wall and now I know how to steer. I'm not afraid if I should fall, yeah. It took some tears oh, but together we were strong and now I feel a burning beat inside my heart. And I feel alive for the first time in my life.